Hi, Churchill County Library Storytime. My name is Jess, and I think the first thing we need to do is sing a song. So let's do the ABC song, and let's sing it loud and then soft, okay? You ready? Sing. Make sure you sing with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Okay, let's sing it soft. Okay. The book I have for you today is called Reading Beauty. And Deborah Underwood wrote this book all by herself and is illustrated by Meg Hunt. And illustrated means she drew all the pictures. Reading Beauty. Once upon a planetoid, surrounded by book lovers, a princess, Lex, read morning, noon, and night beneath her covers. Look at all those books. Lex's bedroom brimmed with books. She read them at top speed. She even trained her puppy, Prince, to fetch her things to read. See, he's bringing her a book. But on her 15th birthday, Lex awoke and her books were gone. Where'd they go? See, they're taking all of her books away. She raced to find her parents. Make them stop. What's going on? They answered with a story. Long ago, when you were small, we held a celebration and invited one and all. But while the guests were toasting you, we heard a muffled shout. A fairy burst in furious that she had been left out. How could you not invite me? I must say I'm rather miffed. But wait, we did. Be quiet. Let me give your Lex a gift. Like all you wretched readers, Lex will live for reading. But when she's 15, she'll flip a page and get a paper cut. The paper cut will bring a curse, a death-like sleep will wake her. She'll stay that way forever. Only true love's kiss will wake her. That's why we hid the books away, her mother said, dejected. For any book could cut you, and you need to be protected. Without her books, their world grew bleak, consumed by dark and gloom. Lex watched the shadows spreading from the windows in her room. It's all my fault, she said to Prince. I can't let things get worse. I'll fly to find the fairy, then I'll make her break the curse. Prince's nose picked up a scent. Good dog! Those books, I need them. We'll bring a bot to pack them up and hold them while I read them. Lex started off with how to fly and then how to find a fairy. And stories gave her courage when the trip got rough and scary. Meanwhile, in her fairy lair, the fairy shrieked, It's Lex! She won't get me, I'll stop her! with the thorny hedges hex. A wall of thorns around her home. Nice try, but she can't hide. A garden book helped Lex cook up 
a homemade herbicide. The heads dissolved to shriveled bits so Lex and Prince could land. The fairy said, that girl is doomed. I've something special planned. She's a mean fairy, isn't she? I'll tempt her with the thing she loves, a gorgeous poison book entitled How to Lift a Curse. She'll have to take a look. Zap, zap, a glowing book appeared, and Prince sniffed. What's this? Lex said. The fairy listened through the door. No sounds. She must be dead. The fairy inched near sleeping Lex to check her now closed eyes. Hey, she looks like she's sleeping. But Lex sprang up and grabbed her wand and said, Hello, surprise! I got quite good at faking sleep when I was just a kid, so I could read past bedtime. Now, about that curse you did. That curse will last forever. You will never change my mind. Then Prince nudged Lex's leg and barked. Lex looked. What did you find? It's an invitation to the royal ball to, to um, celebrate the birth of Princess Lex. You were invited to my ball. We thought this didn't reach you. Wait, can it be that you can't read? Don't worry, I will teach you. Me? Read, said the fairy. In her excitement, the poor fairy didn't think. She touched the book. She turned ghost white and crumpled in a blink. The fairy cursed herself, cried Lex. We need to help her, quick. Prince ran up and gave the fairy's face a sloppy lick. The fairy slowly came to life. What happened? I'm not dead. Oh, Prince loves everyone, Lex shrugged. She smiled and scratched his head. So Lex came home, the books came back, the land was filled with laughter. The fairy found a job and all read happily ever after. That end. Um, be sure to register for the summer reading program if you haven't. We'll have two winners every week. The tickets will be drawn, and you have to drop your virtual ticket in the jar. And each week, there's a new challenge, so be sure to complete the challenge to earn your ticket. And I know a lot of you have already signed up for Summer Reading Program. You just have to go to our website and follow the directions. And I'll see you next time. Bye.